This would be disgusting if it happens. After visits of 26 and 45 and the like, there was a danger there that he could have finished what it off with the biggest five. of a lot. We did see it yesterday, Callan Ritz, who was impeccable on his finishing. Impeccable all round, producing the 170 against Peter Wright. Double five still lurking here for Simon Whitlock, and he's come inside as well. And Six. this would Henry be Morris. the most 65. unlikely of steals from Ted Efforts if he were to take this out. He's got the 25 for tops. And he's made it. He absolutely committed a huge act of daylight robbery there. Yeah, Ted knows that was nowhere near enough to mount any pressure. 59. Ted, you require 133. Can he produce another rabbit out of the hat, just as he did against Ryan Murray in the opener? Eighty-four. Simon, you require eighty. Can he find his way through to tops? It'll be from the left-hand side, and he does find his way there. Simon and Whitlock, who struggled Simon on the Whitlock. doubles for so much of the match. Scoreboard about to change in the next three darts. Possibly. Colin will hope not now. 109. For Brendan's tally. Requires 60. This has got to be clean, concise, and done. Great single now. Oh, but the timing of the darts today wow. just hasn't been there. Yeah, that's really careless Brendan from Callum Ritten. You've got to say it's, uh, it's a little bit. I mean, uh, there was always going to be this expectation on his shoulders today in terms of what he can produce and how he can back it up, but he's just never really got going. He had that 13 dart leg, but he's in danger of suffering another break here. And Dolan is on the verge of another 6-1 win. He had one yesterday against Mervyn King, and he's now pressure of 180s coming in like that. A, a timely moment for Brendan Dolan. Applause from the chairs downstairs on the floor. and Encouragement incoming for the number 14 seed. And Brendan Dolan closing in on a quarter-final on the European Tour and a meeting with Simon Whitlock in the last eight this evening. 83-08. Double 16 away. And Brendan Dolan has to come back. He was throwing those as if he knew they were going to go. That's an awful lie. Needs the treble to keep himself alive. And he hasn't got the treble. And he knows that could be curtains. They could be coming down on what has been up to now a brilliant campaign for Callan Ridd. But ultimately, it might not count for too much. Record-breaking average for his age yesterday, but experience Shot. counting and in this match. one. Brendan Dolan Brendan back Dolan. in the latter stages of a European Tour event once again. Well, I think part of it is pressure, because yes, he is getting these, but they're all at the end of combination finishes, and they're all with Christoph Ratajski sat on one or two darters. Thirty-six. A let off. And we require 40. Strangely, Adam Smith Neal is averaging more than Ratajski. Yeah, he has got himself back Adam within Smith one. Neal. Not really short of the positive first. emotion Game. there from Adam Smith Neal. In consecutive games, people will be putting money on you. Look on the bright side, Cullen. That person's just lost. Yeah, well, look. That'll yeah, make them one. feel like you're the bottom of a wheelie bin. It's better than when they say, I've just put money on you to lose, so you better lose. <laughs> Christoph's not going to win it on a 164, but he's going to chip it away at it, and he probably is going to get match darts for a 6 2 victory here because Adam Smith Neal. It's been quite the run, and you've not seen the last of him because you'll be seeing him at the European Championship. 80. But I think you may have seen the last of him 64. in the Gibraltar Darts Trophy 2021. Christoph Ratajski wants 64 to wrap it up. Yeah, you can't leave him on this because this is classic Christoph. Oh, hold on a minute, though. He wanted a 16 there. He doesn't want to have a shot at tops. He'll take it, though. 24. That was not part of the plan. And we require 60. Not looked entirely convincing in that section of the board, has he? On you. Smith Neal has not looked convincing on any section of the board in terms 40. of the doubles because that is two hit. 
from 14 attempts for Adam Smith-Neal. He has had chances to take out the last man to win this title. Yeah, he's not taken uh, any of them. Uh, and Adam Smith-Neal's run comes to an end. It's been quite the debut on the European Tour. The Premier, I'm going to put my best frock on. And zero by 161. Yeah, I'm just going to say, where do you begin with Mensur the movie? Anyway, Mensur's looking at 161. He's still looking at 161 here to back up the early break. 136. Zero by 130. Worried a 121. Worried a 161. He was allowed back to tidy up the 25 in the first leg. Is he going to be allowed back here? Sure, he is, you know. 120. Well, he's having his chances to miss those 25. three darts in the first leg. Mr. Dart at double five to get back on terms at one apiece in this one, but Mensur again might finish things off on double eight. Yeah, shot the second leg, Mensur. Very good stuff. Yeah. He knows how to win titles, Mensur Sulevic. He's won lots of them. And not only that, it will drag himself back up the Pro Tour order. Remember, it's a big weekend here as well. Double nine for a 5 1 lead. The South is not on a finish anyway. 78. <coughs> Maybe it's written in the stars because, of course, the European Championship next month will be on home soil for Mensur yeah, in yeah. Salzburg. Just another nine. little ingredient, maybe a little addition to the film plotline as well, Dan. And how many times have we seen it that this particular tournament has been a catalyst for a bit of a, a renaissance in a player's career? Happened yeah. with Michael Smith, happened with James Wade. Yeah, could play. happen Mensur. with Mensur Sulevic this weekend Mensur. because he's 5-1 up Game. on the number two seed, Jose de Souza. Two hundred and one points away. Make that 141. Make that 81. 145. Make that 56. Because Mensur Sulevic is making giant strides towards the last eight here in Gibraltar. 65. Mensur require 56. Well, I would like to see if Jose went ball, 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 but I'm not sure we'll get the chance to see what the route would have been. Mensor might wrap up the match. And he does do on double uh, ten. It is a 6 1 victory for Mensor Sulevic. Little slip ups that come in inevitably into anyone's game. It's an interesting route for the people in this half of the draw, isn't it? As you see, the first one here, the of the match. This is Iceman just watching on there. Well, it does seem to be a little bit top-heavy, this uh, particular bracket, doesn't it? Because you've got the world champion Gerwin Price here. Um, Michael Van Gerwen potentially lying in wait for the winner of this one as well. Three-time world champion. Uh, multiple major winner James Wade is also in this bracket, as indeed is the top seed Joe Cullen as well. So, slight argument that you'd rather be in the opposite half. He's going for double six. This would be a great checkout. He's missed two darts already. But he's got the leg. Yeah. That is brilliant. Yeah. Treble 12, single 19, yeah. double 6. I guarantee you. As the heat used to be, Dennis Ovens. And the Iceman, well, still is. Alan Warren a little. <laughs> I'm not going to go down that route. But Alan Warren a little and Dennis Ovens shared England no, shirts. Of course, playing for England together. Played each other in ranking events in the past. I think it's good that the nicknames are living longer. We've seen it with Louis Williams, who has now inherited the Prince of Wales from Richie Burnett. Yeah, and he's uh, also going to be involved in that uh, European Championship as well. Good to see uh, his uh, name on the uh, roster for that one as well. Yeah, I think he's quite excited about that. And he has every right to feel that way. 99. Get him in your corner. 49. This match could change right now at double 16. Ooh, that was a good try. And now Damon's got to look at that double 16, hopefully, after 
four nineteens. Well, there's three of them. That's the hard part done. Stays nice and straight for the single. Yeah. And he finishes off with that double 16. And Paul Nicholson is delighted because his hypothesis has been tested there to good effect once more. I, yes, I, I was talking about this the other day with somebody else. And um, I think it, it, it needs, it can't be, well, it needs some ad adaptation, some serious adaptation. But um, I was thinking, yeah, like UK and, uh, UK and Ireland maybe um, against the rest of Europe would be a good format. But rest of the world? I'm not sure about rest of the well. I, th I think that'll be a bit. 140. A bit of in favour of the rest of the world team. I think if you limited it to Europe. What about Europe against the rest you, of the you'd world? Want, yeah, you'd want characters like Whitlock involved, I suppose, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd want Jeff Smith, maybe Matt Campbell, Demon Hetter. Get a win, Yuri 124. I mean, I'm not sure there's time or room in the calendar for it anyway. Um, something would have to go. This has got to go. Making amends for that missed start at double 16 for the 149. That is on 250. Pivotal moments of the match though, legs 7 and 8. And Gerwin Price is not too far away from securing what would be his fourth appearance in the quarterfinals of this tournament. He's never been beyond the last eight. Made the quarters last year, oh, last time in 2019, 2018 and in 15. And he's looking at tops for a 6-3 win. And surprise, surprise, he hasn't taken it, but it's a big ask this for Damon Hetter. That 1-2-4 was special. Oh, sorry, the 108 was special, but he needs a 150 now. Same route, but needs two treble 19s now. That's perfect. Not quite. He just missed the barrel by the merest margin. Yeah, One you know. millimetre to the left, and that was in. Anguish on the face of David. Oh, he really tells his own story there. That, again, talking about the fine yeah, margins, that's a classic example. Hesse could have got that. As it is, Shot. Gerwin Price has got it, and, and he is through to the quarterfinals of the Gibraltar Darts Trophy. Sharp. He's obviously been putting in the work on the board. Does a lot of work. Oh, Keeping himself fit. 40. But I think at this point in your life, when you've had a bit of tragedy, you can use the dartboard as a bit of therapy. It will take your mind off everything for at least a period of 30 minutes. And there's no pressure on him in this game. Nobody expects Michael to beat him. But Danny's got position in leg three for a third break yeah, from this match. Now could look at the bullseye first dart. Is he going treble 19? That leaves the double. He's on the third leg. Well, MVG was thrown. What happens over the next two, three, four minutes? These two have put on a show here in Gibraltar. It has been brilliant. Peter Wright averaged 108 in defeat to a, a stunning Callan Rids yesterday. But to be honest, that was a match where Callan Rids just looked unbeatable. This one... On. This one is actually them to close. There may be more to come. MVG is digging in here. I think the 140 has got to get in there. 100. You see, short. Didn't give it a chance. Just a bit shouldery and a bit tense. 132 again. Come on. Yes. 133. How much would you give for a maximum here? Oh, it's not a bad start. Don't leave it short. Give it some welly. Well, this time it wasn't better third door, but it didn't penetrate the lipstick. Oh. Oh, he's done it this time. What a shot. He had a practice on it earlier. Incredible. Third dart was not. Danny Knoppert will get a look at the 1-4. He's already missed a match dart. But he might have to take out this enormous combo finish if he's to get another. And it's not going to happen. And Michael Van Gerwen is on the verge of completing 
an astonishing comeback against a man whose average has never dropped below 100 in his entire match. MVG wants double nine. Oh, wow! Oh this game is delivering <laughs> so much. Danny is not hesitant. Match dart three. Double three. Wow! This game has literally everything and it's amazing. <laughs> it's the perfect game. They've been absolutely incredible all match. MVG pulls off a brilliant yeah. comeback. They both miss match darts, and Van Gerwen somehow gets through. Bogey number for Gabriel. So a decent setup shot here. That's not what he was after. Yeah, I suspect he'd like to finish things no, off here and now. It won't want to prolong the agony too much. 161 is the target. Gorgeous first dart. Second dart's not bad either. Bullseye for the finish. 136. Gabrielli requires 70. Not able to apply the coup de grace. Yeah, the and he goes all the way back to 501 to points. Gabriel Clemens doing in the world of good. One hundred and forty. Responding in kind. Just a little glance at the scoreboard there from Wade, just to see where Clemens is right now. He's not too far away. Ninety-six. Change of one hundred and forty-five. Treble fifteen. And double top. Yes. And there it is for James Wade. He threatened to win it with a 1 6 1. He successes on the Pro Tour this year. One against Johnny Clayton in the final, one against Gerwin Price. Yeah, he doesn't win players' championship titles or European Tour titles against bad players. I mean, two against MVG. That one against Ratajski. Bullseye. Oh, hello, Bullseye. Yeah, we had a call from the crowd there, which was. Uh, well, Joe's dealing with it well, but, you know, that's... <laughs> I think the person in the crowd might have said bullseye. 97. Hmm, just Maybe wondering the weather that. No, he seems to have a nice rhythm moving into that one, I thought. Yeah. Well. Are they going to tell Nathan Aspinall how to get 80? Well, didn't go the tops, tops route. Went the more orthodox 60 double 10 route. Yeah, he's on the six For the first time eight, in this match. Enough. Again. Well, well, it would be the cherry on the icing on the cake, wouldn't it? And I would not rule it out at all. Will he go for it? I suspect he won't. What? What? I cannot believe. You? I'm going to have a word with you. Well, the crowd are disappointed. <laughs> We're a little bit disappointed. Do you know what? It's the right play. But Aspinall, yeah, I mean, I said I couldn't believe he was going to go for it. The camera zoomed in. 134. Oh, he just Thank had that look in his 32. eye. Oh, Aspinall had that look in his eye. Double 16 again, though, for Aspinall to maintain this sequence that Paul just highlighted a few moments ago. Double eight. Nathan Aspinall, a frightening average.